We are mightier than the challenges before us. That's why the challenge is there. That's a quote from one of my quotes from Change Your Life Through Writing, which is available on Amazon. And also, if you want to click below this video, uh, this is page 92. And I'm going to read a short, just a little short uh, uh, excerpt from the book, from my book that I wrote. Most of us who had the opportunity of experiencing the fun of climbing a tree enjoyed playtime in one of God's wonders. While I was... While I was thinking about those I can't do it and I can do it moments, the tree climbing scenario came to me. Allow me to share with you what trees and our desire to, per to pursue our life purpose have very much in common. A young boy and a young girl wish to climb a tree. They size up the tree and make a decision. They plan their moves in the tree and begin to take action. Days go by and they have adventures in that tree. Maybe they will build a tree fort. Trees provide imagination and exploration for children to grow. Children also develop personal confidence by challenging themselves. The problem occurs when pessimistic people enter the scene. Another young boy and girl decide to climb a tree. This time there is a skeptical person to question if the children have the ability to climb this tree. Self-doubt is very crippling. Or they may be cautioned that they will fall and get hurt. Doubt and fear of failure are implanted in, in their minds. And the children's only hope for success is if they do not fear and doubt their abilities. Any ambition or dream that they have, they might avoid for fear, fear of failure, lack of ability, and the possibility of getting hurt physically, emotionally, and financially. Failure shows you what doesn't work. You fail, and then you try again until you succeed. Period. What do you do when you get hurt? We learned at an early age not to touch the hot oven, whether by listening to our parents or finding out for ourselves. Hurts caused by our mistakes help us grow wiser and stronger so that we may, we may survive life. When I talk about getting hurt in regard to working on our goals and ambitions, I am referring to personal and emotional hurt from rejection, betrayal, or insults. I remember growing up on Bridge Street, also known as Route 376 in Hopewell Junction, New York. There was a narrow wooded line of pine trees that separated my parents' property from our neighbors. One day in the mid-1970s, I started climbing one of those trees. Mom was inside taking care of our home. She knew I was outside somewhere in, the, in our backyard playing. Home video games were new on the market and only the spoiled kids <laughs> with rich parents could afford them. I enjoyed being outside climbing those sap-covered branches. Most trees, such as maple trees, are relatively clean. However, pine trees often have sap running or at least sticking to the bark. One of the trees I climbed, let me turn the page here. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. One of the trees I climbed was very tall. And when I reached as far up the tree as I could, I could as far as I could safely climb, the view was awesome, especially for a kid who only knew a ground view. I was about 50 feet away from, our, from my house. For the first time, I saw what the roof of our house looked like, and I could see the aluminum antenna mounted on a shingled shelter that resembled a thin, bare tree. Occasionally, Dad would have to climb up on the roof by accessing the upstairs porch. He did sort of an ac acrobatic maneuver to get up there. Once he got into position by steadying himself on a slanted peak, he would loosen some bolts and turn the, atten the antenna carefully around to a different position without falling off the sharp slant of the roof. If the interior... If the exterior aluminum television antenna required positioning, it was usually the homeowner who performed the adjusting. That's how it went, at least to my knowledge. Cable had just become available, but we didn't have it yet, so we depended on the exterior antenna. It was probably considered a dinosaur. It is probably considered a dinosaur today in our high-tech world, along with the ribbon typewriter and the rotary telephone. Just about every time that I played outside, I would climb those trees where I would be able to see my dad driving down the street toward our house. I could also see in, into the yards of a few neighbors. Not that I was spying, I just observed nature. Uh, the birds and the bees and the squirrels and the trees. 
Of all the times I climbed those trees, there was not one adult around me to tell me how dangerous it was or ask if I could handle climbing a tall tree. I just decided to approach and began ascending one of those natural playgrounds, carefully watching my grip and stepping and listening for, crack for any cracking sound. I also discerned dead branches from live ones with, li with life and strength. My father saw me a few times when I made noise. But usually I climbed as quiet as a cat, so no one around the tree knew I was up in it. Dad never said anything. He just let me climb. When I came in for dinner, the only words my mother spoke to me were, Your hands are filthy. Clean them up before you sit at the table. That was it. Nothing close to You Can't Climb was mentioned. And so that's from my book, Write Your, um, Change Your Life Through Writing. It's your life, write it your way. And there's, uh, I'd like to show you some uh, books and there's audio. There's uh, Norman Vincent Peale. Uh, there's a word uh, I use this quite often as a writer. Um, my favorite, uh, one of my favorite all time shows. And there's Norman Vincent Peale again. Uh, I love this uh, emergency, the old emergency TV series with John and Roy. And a very encouraging book. Uh, I also want to make a quick, uh, and, and some of the videos uh, uh, oh, uh, below this video are links. Also, if you could hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. And also a quick, uh, it's probably a long video, but um, uh, I have to end it with this. Um, or I, I'd like to end it with this. Uh, in the past, I've mentioned... Uh, different professions and especially firefighters because i am a volunteer firefighter uh, for 20 years and uh but there's one profession that i would like to give a shout out to nurses nurses uh if it wasn't for nurses okay we, yes we have surgeons and doctors and uh, we have many people in the medical field but when it comes to the nurse um nurses uh, uh a doctor comes in and gives you diagnosis and then leaves you on your merry way. The nurse, she comes in, he or, he or she comes in and is the temperature of the room. And if you're just, if you're sitting there, it's uh, a, a wound can either, uh, a wound can, uh, you're in the hospital. Well, for whatever reason, you're in the hospital and your ailment or whatever you're in there for uh, is, uh, is, is on your mind. It's bothering you. The nurse comes in. The nurse can make it either a beautiful day or a bad day. And uh, nurses make it a beautiful day. Nurses, uh, uh, they just, uh, um, they have the, uh, they're just, uh, we need them. We need them. They're important. Uh, they play a big part. Um, you know, when no one else wants to touch the mess. When else, no one else wants to uh, change the patient. Maybe the patient needs uh, changing uh you know, or toiletry needs, or or even shower needs. That's what the nurse does. That's what the nurse does. And as children, we the teacher asks you, "What would you like to uh, do when you grow up?" Some would say firefighters, police officers, doctors, lawyers, uh, an, an astronaut. And of the children who say, uh, "I'd like to work in the medical field. I'd like to be um, maybe a, a gentleman wants to be a male nurse. A lady wants to be a you know." A, a female nurse um anyhow we raise our hand and say i like to you know many women say i like to be a nurse and that is a very noble you know it's a it's a good dream to have but what they don't tell you is when you get that position it's not treated very noble it's not treated very nurses are the difference between um between healthy healing and unhealthy healing um they make the difference and um, it's about time we uh, pay tribute to nurses. We appreciate nurses and recognize nurses uh, because after the, you see the doctor, he, he, you know, he or she is done. They, they came, they come in, they give your diagnosis, and then they're done. But who sees you from the time you enter the hospital to the time you go out? Who changes you? Who helps you change? Who helps you shower? Who helps you feel like a human being? That's why I wanted to say, who helps you feel like a human being in the hospital or any air or any air, feel or area where you're um, um, in need of medical attention? The nurse, that's who. The nurse makes you feel like you're a human being. So, nurses of America, um, I I salute you. 
salute you. I congratulate you. You need to be appreciated. And if you enjoyed this video, please share it with others so others can hear the message of appreciating nurses and and uh, writing your life. Writing your life. Your ideas, your thoughts, write them down and then work them out. Thank you for watching. I am Roger J. Lown. And check below the video. And uh, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you and I am grateful to you for watching this view video sharing it and also hitting the subscribe subscribe button i gotta slow down i get very excited because <laughs> i'm very excited about this video i think it's gonna be a great video anyhow i wish you well and god bless and uh oh make sure you check out uh be sure to check out my other videos that i have produced thank you and thank you youtube